My name is Kelly Heinley. I own Trendsetter Performance Horses. I'm from Chino Hills, California. And one thing that I work on every day with my amateur and youth horsemanship riders is connection with their hand and their feet with their horse. All right, so this is a select rider of mine, Joanne Niffenegger, and you'll see that her lower leg stays what I call connected, which means on communicating with her horse. I want the leg to push the horse forward to the rider's hand. Here, her horse is coming a little bit out of the bridle, but she should be lifting her hand. Now you'll see her close her feet, coming back around this corner. Go ahead and lope, Joanne. As you watch that inside leg, I don't see anywhere that I could put my hand between her right leg and her horse, which shows me that she's connected. That's why her horse is staying in a frame. Uh, back up, top line is strong. Even on her stop, that leg stays there. The problem with when we lose that connection is that the horse will come out of the frame now we've lost our balance especially when we have to do an extended lope say an extended trot and we need that balance coming from the horse's leg and the hand to have enough support that the horse the horse feels like it can stay up and balanced in her hand let's see an extended lope circle maybe do a lead change So at any time, she can lift her hand an inch to two inches and communicate with her horse on where she wants it to be. Let's tighten up that right rein just a little bit. And again, you'll watch that leg and it stays close. If her horse starts to come up out of that frame, she's going to lift her hand just a little bit, go to her feet. If she were to take her legs away now and say, loosen up her rein, if she had to go from an extended lope to a slow lope, it would become very difficult and we would lose that solid top line that we're talking about. Let's see a stop to back. All right, thank you.